Michael, have you ever had a disappointing audition that actually led to acting work and also vice versa? One where you nailed it and you never heard back? Oh, God, yeah. The second one that you said happens all the time to me. <laughs> but my first uh, Law & Order uh, appearance, uh, I thought I bombed the audition. I went in there, I was nervous, it was my first audition for them in New York. Uh, and I, re I went in, I was nervous, I, w I, I was prepared, but I was just way nervous because it was my first time in front of these people. And I left the audition and I actually called my, my parents and I was like, I bombed it, this is awful. I was like depressed for like, like, you know, like the next few hours, I was like, this is terrible. Like, why, what am I doing? It was my first like, you know, year in New York trying to act, uh, trying to, you know, be an actor. And uh, I got a call the next day and they're like, you booked it, they love you. <laughs> they loved you. And I didn't understand. I was like, what? What is this? What is this business? You know? And it's like they were actually looking for a nervous, young police officer to play the role. And I guess that's what I came off as. So they, they booked me. Insane. And I, and I was able to do, it was a principal role with uh, Jeremy Sisto and Anthony Anderson. It was my first principal role uh, on a TV show. Ridiculous story. So from that day, what is that? That must have changed your whole perception about oh, everything yeah. in life. And just, you don't know. You, don't you know. just you be prepared as much as you can. You go in these rooms and you do your best. You never know what they're looking for. Because there have been auditions when I've been so prepared, maybe even over-prepared, crush the audition, and they're like, they're looking for a black guy. Or you're, you know what, that you were not Latino enough. So you, here's what you can control in that room. And this is a good tip for actors. You can only control what you can control, which is your acting talent. You can't worry about how tall you are. You can't worry if your eyes are the right color. You go in there and you make a fan. You go in there and you try and do the best work that you can. You know, that, that's, that's all you can do. And there have been multiple times, this past pilot season, I had some amazing callbacks. Some of the best auditions I've had in Los Angeles thus far. And uh, yeah, I didn't book it. but. After I got that call from my manager that said I didn't book it, it bothered me for about five minutes. And I was like, I, I can't be upset. There was nothing else I could do. There was nothing else, no other acting choices I could have made that could have you know, gotten me the role or not gotten me the role. It was the best that I could do. And that was a good feeling, actually. It was actually a good feeling. It was like, you know what? They missed out, Wh whoever you know, didn't book me. It's like... I did my best and that's all that's all you can do is your best but make sure you're doing your best cuz you know you know when you're not doing your best you know when your work is like you were underprepared you flubbed the line cuz you weren't really off book you got to go in there and be 100% confident that you're giving your best because guess what if you're not the next guy is and that's the guy that's going to book the role what's being overprepared oh rehearsing the scene too much that's happened to me before uh, for my auditions, I get an acting coach. I hire, I have two acting coaches I work with for every single audition I go on. And there are times when I go in there and, and I'm ready to work with them and I'm overprepared, too rehearsed, where it's not organic. You know, you can, there's, being off book is great, you know, but being off book to the point where you're not anticipating or you're anticipating the other person's lines is no bueno. It's got to be organic. So, you know, if, if I read that script, a billion times and did the scene with you a billion times, when I get to the audition, it's gonna look robotic. It's not gonna be fresh and fun, and it's what they want. You know, they want a fresh, fun, compelling scene. So if I threw out a line, could you mimic what overprepared would sound like? Like, um, um, honey, how was work? <laughs> no, it's more like if you said that line to me mm -hmm. and I responded inorganically. Sweet. Like, let's say it. Honey. It honey. was great. Oh, that doesn't work because you didn't even get to finish your sentence. That's being you. overprepared. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes, good analogy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.